Welcome to day nine of the How to Lift Basics trainer. We are training chest and triceps today. So let's get right into it. On the written workout guide, I have incline chest press as the first exercise, which this is not. But since the incline chest press is really similar to the flat bench press, I am not showing it in this video. So we're skipping right into the flat dumbbell chest fly. This exercise is called a chest fly because when you open your arms in and out, it looks like you are flying, flapping your wings. So with your arms slightly bent at the elbow, you are opening up from the shoulder joint, opening up, stretching the chest, and then recoiling and pulling right up again, squeezing the shoulders and squeezing the chest in towards the center of your body. I like to think about drawing a big, semicircle with my hands with the dumbbells drawing it open a nice wide big semicircle and then drawing that same line up and in I really squeeze my chest all the way to the top of the movement but I don't rest at the top like usual I squeeze and then go right back down into it the next exercise we are doing is for triceps and these are tricep kickbacks so this form that I am in right now should look pretty familiar my hips are back my back is flat and my chest is out strong so to start this movement I'm keeping my arm super close to my rib cage squeezing through the back of my arm drawing a straight line back and up with the dumbbell and then drawing that same line forward and down so pushing back and up and then forward and down. You can really isolate each tricep muscle on each arm really well in this exercise. And the better that your upper arm is parallel to the ground, the more of a contraction you can get in your tricep and the more intensely it'll hit that muscle. So if you find your upper arm is almost all of a sudden perpendicular to the ground, you know you're not doing it right. Last exercise of the workout today is a tricep dip off a bench. Most of you probably know this exercise pretty well because you can pretty much do it anywhere. You don't have to do it at the gym. But there's definitely some key things to this exercise to make it awesome. First of all, the straighter your legs are, the more challenging the workout is. Either way, you want to keep your back and your butt close to the bench. So if you find all of a sudden your back and your butt are way far and forward in front of the bench and your arms are way far behind you, you got to back it up. So keeping your chest up and your shoulders back, you're going to bend your arms at the elbows. Elbows go straight back behind you, keeping your back nice and close to the bench. As you come down, you want to hit a 90 degree angle in the elbow before you push back up. And again, you're squeezing the back of your arms through your tricep. So, Pretty basic movements for the chest and triceps today, but they are so effective. Really go and practice your technique. Listen to my descriptions. I am going to write my description for the incline barbell bench press on the workout guide so you will know my cues just so you have that information. So I hope you're finding some value in this How to Lift Basics trainer and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.